I would touch those. For the experience, you have to. You would touch them? <laughs> <laughs> Mama! All right, everyone, we're back in the studio. Thank God Hell Week is over. Thank you to everyone who tuned in. We did a, an episode on Friday, but I kind of like blacked out during it, so I don't really remember you much of You also farted on my couch during it. I, I farted into your couch during it. So we are back. Uncle D is here all week, um, and this is our last week at Barstool Sports. So his, days are, his days are numbered. Whose? Dave's. In what sense? He told me, literally, on, my, on the live stream, he can only be here a certain amount of days. Oh, I have a lot. Flor- he's in Florida back and She's forth. a Floridian. Yeah, before you get into, uh, you have a lot to talk about. I have a, a new ick that was unlocked about 10 minutes ago in the office that you should be ostracized and criticized for. An ick about me? Yes. Oh, hit it, bitch. What is it? Clipping your nails at your desk. Foul. It's not clipping my nails. I was, getting, I was giving myself a manicure. <laughs> <laughs> That's gross. Hearing the fucking clip of the nails. Are you going through some sort of psychological change hey. in your life? <laughs> I saw people rolling their eyes. About my clipping? Oh, yeah. Oh, pl- please, kick me out. I don't give a fuck. You want to hear who? Who? No, no one was rolling their eyes. Just me. That little, yeah. You had your earmuffs on. How did you even hear me? I put the earmuffs on just so people don't talk to me. I wasn't trying, mama. <laughs> <laughs> you were, so- Joey, actually, me and Joey don't speak in the office. We just sign to each before other. Before curtain. Yeah, we just sign to each other before curtain. That way we can save all the, um. All the good things here. Vinny's outfits are going to start next week, so don't worry about that. He's not getting out of it. I was mentally preparing myself. I was like coming in today, like I was ready to go to war. Well, I have an outfit you could, you could put on today. What? I don't know. I'll look under my desk. And there's, there's many <laughs> different outfits. Should we just make Vinny? We'd make. We just don't put him on camera. We just have him do personal. But it's, it's not, not going to be funny because no one knows who Vinny is. Well, they're going to know. What do you mean? Oh, I remember Dave said. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Who is that? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'm Vinny sure. Like, I'm Vinny sure. Like he'll... pulled a hamstring trying to be like, I didn't say they couldn't do it. <laughs> running to the couch. <laughs> say, I'm sorry, Dave. I didn't say. <laughs> Dave goes, Who the hell? Is yeah, that then guy? he goes, I don't know who the fuck that is. Yeah, that was funny. We were like, Dave, can we just see your house? Really, we're just here. We just want to see your house, Mister Portnoy. It looked tight. Yeah, I didn't. It looked really small. Um, I have a lot going on in my mind right now. I'm gonna start. I'll, I, I will spit out topics like like a like like a Rain Man. Okay. I have a very big delivery coming today. Very special delivery. Very for special you. delivery. Extra Viagra, Mr. Kabasda. No, but I. You know what? Extra I've, pill. I've I've talked about Viagra. I have, some, I have some exciting updates on that. I had a dream I had Viagra. I have um no I'm I'm I I, I, I you know I'm an Etsy queen. I've been an Etsy queen for many moons. Okay. Um, I've had so much custom work done for my apartment from Etsy. My um my my marble light stands are from Turkey. Same city, different. Vendor. No, not vendor. Yeah, vendor, but different artisan. Oh. A different artisan. <laughs> that was a marble that was a marble smith. Now I went into the woodsmiths. So I had you know I have once I'm trying to cover that um that air conditioning unit, that pesky air conditioning unit yeah. on my feature wall for many moons. And I was gonna have something done here locally in the States. And I said, you know what? Why? Yeah, no, no. Well, well hold on, hold on. You're not buying local? No, I got it from Turkey. I do Why everything don't you in Turkey. Support, I thought you were American made. Well, I'm a turkey I, girl. I thought no, you, not, you not enjoy, I enjoy I enjoy <laughs> cold <was> cut. <laughs> the last turkey I had was from a, was a cold cut. Now, Boris hit. No, um, I know it's a turkey. Anyway, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna. Okay, this is a scam, to be honest. I am gonna when I post it, I'm gonna I'm gonna make a little video saying, you know, I've gotten everything done at Etsy. I love Etsy, and then we have can share a link that are to our Etsy commercials that we do. Okay. But on top of that, I wanted to see like I want everyone to drive to go to his like his little wood shop business and be like, oh my god, I In heard you. turkey. Yeah, it's on Etsy, and you can get everything delivered. You got a Turk? Oh, you got a Turkish guy. Custom. So how's it work? He, inch by he inch. makes shit in Turkey, and then it's through someone who sells it in America. No, Etsy. It's not. It has nothing to do with America. It's, it's direct from Turkey. So you're trying to tell this guy in Turkey who's giving you free stuff? No, right? he's not giving me free stuff yet. I bought this very expensive to have it custom made, every inch by inch, like pictures. We were not. We were FaceTiming. Okay. The time difference has been been chaotic, but so easy. And so he's building this thing for me. Well, they're in the middle of the war. So it, is it? Are they? <laughs> the power grid's down. So he, they're mailing it to me today. Do you FedEx? And you and you have and you're going to post them why? Because I want a second one. Oh, so okay. I so hopefully you. So he'll he give it. It was, ex- it was expensive. He, what's his it first did, name? I put a dent in that on his bank account. What's the big? What's his first name? The guy. Um. I think it's something zesty. I'm sure it is. A tur- What's a traditional Turkish name? Does anyone know? Is it Diego Rodriguez? <laughs> <laughs> it's right here. A traditional Turkish names: Adam, Ahmet, Altin, Zahara, Ayaz, Dathan, Paris, Bo- Boris, Aydin, T with publicity, Jordan Woodruff. <laughs> 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 
Alex Hodges. Not His name's Ugar. Ugar? You go, well, he said, yes, madam. Yes, madam. Look, <laughs> oh, he misgendered. He's got you by the, he's got you by the fucking I know, he knows, he knows how to sweet talk a lady. <laughs> he goes, she goes, yes, madam. He's probably sitting there speaking Turkish. I don't need it. I got to call her madam and then we'll fucking get it. That's funny. You go, now I have, now believe it or not, what's his name? Yuri? Yeah. What is it? You go, believe it or not, Yuri, I have a big Turkish following. So I post this. They're gonna be they're gonna be strolling into your shop. Yeah. Than they ever, than they ever yeah. before. Coming would, down to your workshop. Are you on WhatsApp? You sketchy motherfucker. That's how you talk to your foreign people. Can I click on it? Yeah. Read what they said. No, look, look, look at our picture. I said. I said I was showing him measurements. I sent every measurement. Oh, uh, here we go. Inch by, I'm talking girls inch by inch. This thing's gonna squeeze in like the IUD. Okay. <laughs> it's gonna be a snug fit. Oh God. Like an I'm going to have to butter up one of the walls. What are the, what are the color options you can see on the attachment? Okay, yes, natural, please. Noted. Then you, you follow She's up. natural queen. You follow up 10 days later. How's it coming, Yuri? <laughs> how's, how's everything coming? How's it, how's it shaping up? Did you tell him that you have fans in Turkey? No, not yet. He doesn't know anything about my oh, social Oh, he sent you a rainbow fucking. He has no idea about my social media oh, presence. Oh, he knows you're a But she doesn't, she doesn't know that I'm a journalist. I fucking can't with the... Now, now I have now this is, measurements. Now you're measuring. Look at my measuring tape. Seven. This, this is three quarters. Three. This is seven eighths of an inch. You ever seen the thing on TikTok where they put the measuring stick out and they go to guys? Show me six inches. I did it around the office and they do on, it our like YouTube, on our YouTube on our oh, TikTok. I think, I think I did that with you. No, I did it on TikTok. Yeah, I put made you pull. Yeah, you go. What's four inches? I go. Well, I got that down. Yeah. Now, good for you, Joe. I'm happy. It's coming along. January seventh. Height from floor. Baseboard. So if how you didn't leave your house all weekend? Was that the weekend? I feel I like that was house, a fucking. Oh, flare. Thursday you were at my house. Thursday morning. You know, I've, I've, this is the first time I left my house since then. Oh yeah, we're not no. doing the we're not doing yeah. the workout, right? What? We're not doing that group workout together. I don't know what you're talking about. But exactly, I'm sure I'm yeah. not. No. He like put something on my calendar. I was like, I'm gonna have to run this by him, but let's consider a no. <laughs> um, I think what's going on? Oh no, sock in. No, I because these pants. Okay, <laughs> the thing with these I unzip them. The thing with these pants is. And then Nana the, puts the, her Spanx. No, they're the same size as my, my navy ones I wear, but you have to break Dickies in. Like, you can't just wear them. Like they're, they're tight the first couple weeks. Yeah. So I used to wash. I've been washing the fabric so often, like for day, for a couple weeks every day, but without uh, without wearing them. But that I I have to, put it to give the old stretch. But you were on a binge last night. Well, I had a beautiful a beautiful little football party. Which team won? <laughs> uh, Kelsey, red team. And he did this, the Taylor Swift and the thing. Well, I didn't want that. I made Buffalo dip for for the Buffalo Bills because I felt I felt Josh Allen's glands pulsing yeah. in my uterus. I saw he was going to win. It's disgusting. I made some of the best appetizers of my life last night. If you didn't follow my TikTok, I was, it's already gone. Instagram, it's already gone. But um, I made, now I'm a Buffalo chicken queen. Of course. I'm preparing for. Oh, God. She's trying. She's trying to. Get a, a discount code? Or she's trying to yeah, get my money? I'm good. Um, I'm preparing for the for not arguably for the biggest event I've thrown yet. Which at my, is? At my, at my, at my the home. orgy? Poppy's 69th birthday. Ooh. What? Um, it's coming up in a couple weekends and it is turning out to be a bigger thing than I expected. <laughs> now people caught wind of it, like people from like People are catching wind of it, like family members, people that are from Poppy's past, like that want to come. From Poppy's no, see, not past, past like friends, like friends of our family. It's like for years. Now everyone's wanting to make the trek to the city. People are like uh, not flying. People are coming in from like near and far. From Turkey. From Turkey. It's just all your influencer scam friends. You like, I'll, from I'll Turkey. Throw you a fucking party. Um, so I had to up the ante with the staff. Question: Why are you not just waiting till seventy? I'm still throwing. This, I'm throwing a wedding, like a wedding, like at, at a banquet hall for the seventieth. Who's the, for, well, that's for him and Bill. Him and Bill for the nuptials. No, I'm throwing like a, a, a like a big event with sponsors and like liquor sponsors and like red carpet and like I'm doing a, a full red carpet. No, I, <laughs> do I throw do I throw in Nicole's thirtieth birthday party? I, with, I, I think I, I don't think I paid a dollar for it, and it was the biggest fucking event. I rented out an entire STK restaurant. I had every press outlet there, People Magazine. I had cakes, flowers, ve uh, f um. And you think you'll get the same price for Poppy? Everything. Yeah. Yeah. I threw this at the entire event for, for zero dollars. If I throw like a little, a little money at this and- uh, You're going to be golden. Yeah. There it is. The 30th birthday party. There was, it was star studded. And oh. I, I, I had a booth put there. I, um, it was, it was- Who is that on the right? Teresa Giudice. Oh my God. She looks like a fucking giant compared to them. Yeah. Well, they're all tiny. Well, I invited them. 
Um, yeah, it was, it was a huge, huge success. Huge, very huge success. Very big success um, for so you. I'm planning for the 70th awesome. copy. Big. I'm planning a huge thing. This is just a party at my house. Oh. So for some, it's from like, it's an intimate party of, you know, about 40 people are going to show up. What though. street do you live on? Madison Avenue. I live on Madison Avenue. Do you think your neighbors are getting pissed at you for all the fucking noise? Like they have to be able to hear, right? Um, yeah, well, we were in contact though. Every time she mad at like you let her know ahead of time. We talk. Yeah. I'm like, Hey, I have people coming. She's tonight. an old lady. No, she's hot. I feel like if, if I, when I have people over, I have to let them know ahead of time. If I do, I'm just, I'm just kidding. Obviously I never have people over, but if I were to have people, but you over, know people in your building, you no, but call? like I, if I was going to have a bunch of people over, I'd let them know. How would you let them know? Hey, I'm going to have people over. Do you mind? But how would you let them know? Would you knock on their door oh, yeah, or no, leave I'd a not, note? Like no, I knock on the door. I feel like a note. I feel would like you, a note you, in any capacity is passive aggressive. When you would you I would they, San Diego when over. you knocked on the door would you hold your hands behind your back so you didn't th seem threatening no because then I don't want them to think I have a firearm <laughs> <laughs> out and about it's brought to you by Body Armor Zero Sugar introducing Body Armor Zero Sugar the first sports drink with zero sugar zero grams of carbs and none of the stuff you don't want like artificial sweeteners flavors and dyes whether you're looking to stay hydrated throughout the day or recovering from a tough workout Body Armor Zero has the vitamins and electrolytes your body needs and it tastes good Body Armor has zero sugar and great tasting flavors like fruit punch and lemon lime I absolutely love the fruit punch which you have right here we I have, have it right here I keep, an, th I keep that thing on me we have an entire um, fridge of this in the kitchen they have it's so nice to send it over and it's absolutely delicious and to be honest with you I broke sober January this weekend and I had some of this the next morning and it made me a little feel recovery like I've been using this and I've been doing marathon decoupaging um, things at my house so, this, so I to stay hydrated while I decoupage and also Poppy's birthday is coming there's a lot of people that are still doing dry January so I will have a, a bevy of zero sugar options for them from Body Armor as well available in stores nationwide but you can head on over to Body Armor store on Amazon and get yours today go to the Body Armor store on Amazon and get yours today no, because then I don't want them to think I have a firearm. <laughs> I, would, I, would, I, would, I would send a carrier pigeon up to the third floor. Oh, um, anyone in the tri-state area, if you're a baker, I need a, cup, a cake for Poppy. What about cake balls? The guy I worked, that's who made my cake for this. The guy, remember, he did, didn't he loot his fingers in a, uh, like a bowling accident? That's who made my what? cake for this party. Yeah, Mario, whatever. No, 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 not, not Mario. His name is um Bobby. Um, oh, yeah. Cake boss accident. Yeah. <laughs> I shouldn't laugh at You that. don't remember this shit? Buddy Velastro. Buddy Velastro. He had a uh, bowling alley in his house and a pin got stuck and oh, he went no. to go fucking put his oh, hand in it. And it ripped, that's bad. It ripped all his oh, fingers right so off. Scary. It ripped his hands off? It ripped his fingers off, yeah. He like, they had to reattach his fingers. Buddy that's, is his name, right? And that, Buddy Velastro. Oh my God. And that, ladies, is why you always got a bowl of strike. Da -da wow. Look at his he, wife. What a babe. He made the cake for me after that party. I need a I need a cake, ladies. If you don't, if, I, if no one comes back to me, I know, I might know a girl who's very very good. Was it free? Oh, uh, yeah, probably publicity? get it for free. Yeah. Okay, I'll I'll do it for free. Otherwise, I was gonna buy two cakes and make it myself. I was gonna get a small, a big cake and a smaller cake, and then decor it like and seam it together. Oh, I like that. With, okay, with like I sink a pipe. Uh, now a pipe. I'll get a piping bag out. <laughs> I'll get the piping bag. You have the big one, but it's like a but it's a bagpipe. I have but it. I put it over. I was gonna make my own cake and just add flowers, and I have a, I bought a sign on top of it that says Poppy earmuffs. It says happy. Uh, wait, it says sixty nine and fucking fabulous. <laughs> I ordered and I had a neon sign made that says Happy birthday, Poppy. Um, it's like the, the neon yeah. tubing. It's gonna like you know the old sign. That, well, I know the yeah. old sign you're talking about. And I'm, I'm hanging on the wood feature wall. Yep. It's gonna have a birthday poppy. And then I have um, Mike Pence is showing up. The, the, for, the, for the preliminaries. For the preliminaries. <laughs> um, I have um, napkins that you know. George Santos will be in attendance. That kitten heel. Um, what's it called? Kitten heel will be in attendance. Um, what Eskimo, else? Many Eskimo queens will be there. Oh, that's right. I had to, I had to, um, do you want to read the text message? From who to who? I get in trouble for showing text messages. Um, from here, look what I wrote. Hi, read what I wrote. This is to who? This is my cleaning lady. Yeah. Oh my god! Holy fuck! Wake up, girl. I know. I need I to. espresso. Hi, Lena. <laughs> so for the party on the twenty seventh, is looking a lot like more people are planning on showing up. Would you be able to bring an assistant with you to help? Read what I wrote. This is my favorite. I would sentence. love if you could focus on a. Oh Jesus, Joey. I like that Read secondhand it embarrassment even reading this. I love that sentence. I would love if you could focus on attending to the guests and maybe have one of your girls do the cleaning as we go so things are more efficient. Please let me know. It's my father's birthday. He's turning 69. Hi, Joe. Thank you for letting me know. She's not <laughs> Indian. In my head, she is. Um, okay, I could look for one more lady. Thank you, queen. My queen. 
Thank you, my queen. And she loved that. She hearted that. Yeah, we're best friends. I don't know. I want to make sure she's attending to the guests. She's and what does that mean? You walk around with her. That means I'm, your emptying out, I'm emptying out a whole closet for coats. Oh. I was gonna do. A, I was gonna do a rack in the hallway. A rack of lamb. I have. I have everything. Rack of lamb. <laughs> I'm just gonna do a hallway uh, coat closet, like you know, like a, one of those. Those um, you know, we go to like a yeah, you have the little a, the a rack outside the fucking with, place. Um, yeah. um, the tickets. Like, yeah. Your, your coat. Can, can I work? Can coat I please, please God? Can I work coat check? I would love nothing more than a coach and I'll have my little thing on. I would have you do that, but I know that you're frazzled and you would mess it up. I would not mess up coach check. I would dominate coach check. I would mess up coach. I would go through the coats. <laughs> you would mess up coach check. Um, but I imagine no one attending has any cash in their pockets. I mean, they're, all ca- they're, all, they're all card queens. Um, I put a little a little QR code. Please Venmo me. Do you want to read the appetizers? Not really. <laughs> <laughs> We're being honest. I'm okay. I'm okay. Well, it's shaping up to be quite an event, and I'm very excited. This is this about coming it. weekend. No, the following. I don't know what weekend it is. Well, the following week we're going to be going. Well, in a couple weeks we're going to be going to Daytona. That's in February. What's it now? It's January. It's January. It's the middle of January. Oh, that's what I wanted to talk to you about. Our sweet young Diego. I'm sorry, I can't stop yelling. I think there's something wrong with His me. His name's Yago to me. Yago. I just finally found you on the internet. What? My I never name. knew your name was Yago. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um. Our sweet young Diego is putting together another out and about adventures. Oh, good. Oh, yeah, I made a document. I don't know if I shared it with you. Where are we going? Mountain Creek. Oh, I'm not going to that. <laughs> no Mountain Creek for Nana? No, you guys can go, though. You don't need me We're for everything. We're teaching you how to ski. I don't want to do that. Thank you, though. Um, why don't we do this? Why don't we have a... Why don't we, why don't we brainstorm? It's too, it's too far away. Why don't we brainstorm? It's an hour away. Why don't we brainstorm a couple options and we let the people vote? I have options. Well, there's not, it's not up to the people. It's up to me. It's no, my idea. No, let's have it up to the people. My idea about, about skiing. I I do an idea. You do an idea. I do an idea. You do it. Then the people yeah. vote. Are, I think that's good. Okay, no, I don't let like people tell me what to do. Yeah, yeah. Go kart racing in Jersey City. Really cool racetrack. Would be fun to see. I just had a bunch. Of, right. I have, I have, a, th- I have a whole a list Vinny. of things. Yeah, Put it that that down. Would be then. sick. Paintballing, skiing, paintballing. We've done. Me and Joey have done paintballing. Right, that's yeah. the only thing. I want to do that workout class where you fly on the ropes. Okay, I have that so written let's down. Put work, that's put workout class on there. I have oh, like you're talking about like uh like the trapeze. No, it's like it's, it's like it's Cirque a, du Soleil. No, no, no. no. It's like a bungee that you're attached to, and it's like for old, it's for old women with with joint hip are and you joint speaking, Are you talking about uh, aquatic? <laughs> it's like you're, you're like hung from a bungee cord from the ceiling, and you're just like de- like fly. Like doing, Is there one? Death that would be drops. fun. Is there one? Oh, a death drop assistance class. <laughs> I can't try to write. I took a class like that. Did you? yeah. <laughs> I took a death drop tutorial class. That like, and it, I, it's where they lower you down. They slowly lower you down into the, the mass, position. My joints aren't just my joints aren't built for it. Unfortunately, well, it, unfortunately, it's I'm not ambi- I, I was ambidextrous for many years. <laughs> but we're we're in a cold front right now, so the pressure's low. So my knee will bust out. Yeah, can you, I can't. Can do, you look up what that is, Vinny? I'm like curious to see. We have the fucking cake boss. Look up. Uh, what is it? Bungee what? Workouts? Rope workouts? Yeah, aerobic bungee, workouts. bungee aerobics. Bungee aerobics. There they are. Oh my God. <laughs> this is my girl. This, I mean, this is. I told you that's what we're doing. You're going to love it. Bungee. It's for fat people. Look at the butter. <laughs> it's, for, it's for like old fat people. It's my, fir- it's my favorite workout ever. <laughs> that See actually... if there's one. Do oh, the video. Watch a video, though. Oh, and it's video. called Pueblo Fitness. See if watch there's one videos. in New York City, then. There is. I've already contacted two of them. Get it, girl. <laughs> <All right>. <laughs> <laughs> they look fun. Woo! As that two, the music three, is crazy. Four. I'm gonna now, now she will, yeah, she'll be a, she, she will be a low, low impact queen. <laughs> <laughs> look at it, get a girl. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> this look fun. That's like when the Grinch goes around the Christmas tree on his fingers and toes. Look at that. <laughs> oh, lunge and gravity. Lunge. Who gravity? Where? <laughs> <laughs> get there's funnier ones. Go to other ones. Oh, this is hey, that one's pretty funny. no. There's better ones. When they, when they really I'm worried know, though because this when is when they tw- know the routine. This is 2020. Like we need something new. What have are you, you talking? Like, have you done bungee aerial? Aerobics? Like I'm just kidding. Like regular bungee jumping. Oh God, girl. I would. I would do it. I would do anything. Well, go do it. Skydiving. Can you just? We don't need a video. Just look up like if there's a class in New York City. I have the class numbers. Okay, so what is it? I don't have a phone number. I'm, yeah, that's I, what I'm trying to like find out now. Have you guys seen like the medieval uh, things in New Jersey? The medieval tournaments? Yes. You should do man on the street at one of those. That would be a good vlog. A middle yeah, show. Yeah. Oh, I like that. Wait, like medieval times? Yeah, or like- I'll send you the link. I'll send medieval you. times. Click on that first the, one, Vinny. To the, to the kennel club. American Kennel, uh, American kennel Club. 
a new student special. I texted. Oh, this is one of them, yes. Let's sign up right now. Click new student special. What is Bungie? I mean, you get four classes for $100? Yeah. That seems like... We'll only go to one of them, though. We just we go down the bungees just snap. But we have to whack. contact them and let them know we're filming. You know, what is bungee? What is bungee? Bungee is a stunning aerial art form. Yep. That will give you the opportunity to both defy gravity and experience weightlessness. Students will manipulate the tension provided by bungee cords against the floor to create beautiful floating and flowing movements in the air. Each participant will be suited up in their own bungee harness at the start of the class <laughs> and alternate in and out of their bungee point. Bungee lends itself to beautiful sequencing. Oh, I mean, yeah. Beautiful sequencing and dance-like movement. I only movement. do elegant things, Trish. You know this. Well, I told you about this. But don't let its beauty fool you. Classes can also provide a unique and intense cardio workout. All levels of movers, dancers, and aerialists are well. <laughs> now a beginner. I mean, I think we have to do this. You know what we should bring on this with us? We should bring Tanker. Frank the Tank? Nah, I don't know if we could do that. Pro, what's a pro tip? Bike, oh, oh, okay, so we have to wear bike shorts. <laughs> Joey just wants to see Vinny in bike shorts. Bike shorts over a pair of second pants are highly recommended for comfort in the bungee. Now we have an oh now we have an oh now we have an open level bungee. I think I'd be open level. Students will have the they'll have a blast. Uh, now I want to explore. Well, it's the, open level like one one above. I think I, I think I'll take to the bungee. I'll quite go quickly. intermediate. I'll, I'll think go I'll intermediate. I think I'll take quite quickly. Oh here you go. Now they'll explore ground based bungee now, I was work. A ticker queen for many years. <laughs> so so we're gonna do ground work. We're also gonna work on flat based tricks <laughs> and skills. Go down to the next one, Vin. What's expert? Bu oh, private bungee. Ooh. That's what we need, a private bungee. It provides a boisterous opportunity to dive in head hey, first. Hey, request private. That, we need a private class, so we have to videotape it. Look at this queen. On the, look at the queen who teaches it. Looking like the guy from Creed at the Super Bowl. No, I don't, I'm oh, oh, are you, I don't no, want No, no, no. I want Basamba. Go a gay? Go down. Yes. I want Basam Kuba. Circus policy. That's how you know he's good. Yeah. Later, no, later arrival, small ma. Five, no, there'll be a five minute grace periods. I didn't know this was run by a bunch of lesbians. No admittance to the class. We encourage you to arrive early and apologize in advance for any inconvenience this may cause. The student will provide mats to students without, without their own. Oh, so we need to buy our own mats. I have, there's some mats here. I it's a BYOM, but bring your own mat situation. I have, there's mats all over my house. There's, what do you got, mats? Well, you have, those are puppy pads, dear. Our factory in Vietnam. What? Wait, go down to those shirtless pics. Oh, my God. Where? There's no bulge on that guy, though. Oh, that's a woman. Yeah. What about the one in the middle? Our factory in Vietnam. That's what go, I said. Click on that. Wait, where say that? Down. No, we've had the Charlie. Right well, we've had Viet Cong making these mats for years. Hang Noi. It's on 18th Street. It's right here. I Our, knew it. Our factory, Hanoi, 52 Vietnam. No. Namaste. Can you go make our factory in Taiwan? There's a lot of factories in Taiwan. What are they making? Should we go to Taiwan? Malaysia. I'm trying to go to Thailand. Baby doll fox. <laughs> Imagine we go and it's run by, you're going to uh, Taiwan? Thailand, I'm trying to. Oh. For 4th of July. <laughs> what, what's is more that American the day, than going to Thailand? Is that the day of the surge, yeah. mama? <laughs> <laughs> Diego comes back, back with a cheese scar. <laughs> Diego, we come back, Diego's had an extra, what happened to your trachea, dude? <laughs> <laughs> Hanging out with too many lady boys. Can you go up, up there? <laughs> I don't want to see um, private class. Let's, let's request a class. Private re request private. Would you guys let's smash, put our information in. smash a lady? Let's boy. not let's not talk our information out loud. We all know our emails and our things. We can and our yeah. phone numbers. Let's Vinny, not, sign us up. Sign us up, Vinny. Thank you. Would you and request and then you have to tell them that you're with uh, me a conglomerate and we need to for, we need to we have to let them know we're recording. You have to get a, a, a appearance release. Not appearance release. Uh, what's it called? Are you first class. What? What's yeah. It? You have to do oh, just, a, um, you, maybe you can just do it through your email. That way you can set it up. Yeah. Um, you do, um, you know, you have to get a, a site, you know, a, 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 you have to get a, a, They go, unfortunately, we can't, we can't hold you on 17th Street, but nothing. we do have a spot in Hanoi. If you want to fly out there. You have to get, you know, rights to film. Do you know how to do that to, get, to yeah. contact? You know how to do it. Mm -hmm. Out and About is sponsored by BetterHelp. Around the new year, we get obsessed with how to change ourselves instead of expanding what we're um, already doing right, right, right now. Uh, maybe you can finally organize. Maybe sorry. Maybe you can finally get organize your space. Maybe you can uh, tackle another on um, project that you've been doing. You're putting things off in your mental health uh, in the earlier in the year. You need to get on tr 
track. Absolutely. And, you know, people take supplements every morning and, you know, they want to make sure they eat breakfast. They want to do all these things to help themselves, but they don't want to take care of their brain. And that's where better help helps you. Therapy helps you find your strengths so you can ditch the extreme resolutions and make changes that yes. really stick. It's about making the changes that stick. And that's where better help can help you. If you've benefited from therapy, like both of us have, um, you know, it's just a great thing. And like we've said in the past, it's like brushing your teeth for your brain. Joey, you've been using BetterHelp forever. I have. I like it because I don't have to get out of the house. You know, I just left the house the first time um, and in like maybe five days. I don't like leaving <laughs> the house, especially if you're feeling under the weather or if you're not feeling your best mentally. You don't want to like go and sit in front of people. So this is what the BetterHelp. You do it online. Go to fill a little bit of questionnaire. You're matched with the therapist. If you don't like the therapist, you can go to that therapist. That's the best part. And keep doing it until you find someone you like. You know, there's not the... the the limit does not exist. Um, it's it's much cheaper than in person therapy, and um, you can find a therapist right in your um, you know right online that's going to be best for your best fit for you. Um, so if you're thinking about therapy, give BetterHelp a try. Um, like I said, just fill out a brief questionnaire and get matched with the therapist, and you'll be on your way. Celebrate the progress you've already made with and visit betterhelpcom slash out and about today and get ten percent off your first month. That's BetterHelp B E T T E R H E L P dot com slash out and about for ten percent off your first month. BetterHelp. We have the form, and then you have to, so you have to get. Uh, Why are you going to Thailand for the right. fourth? I'm curious about that. Um, because I usually because anti-American. Well, I'm trying to just go there because it's really cheap once you're there. Uh huh. And I'd probably never go to like Bangkok or something. Why is that? Because like when would I go? Oh yeah. You know. And I'm, the Fourth of July, I usually go to the Jersey Shore, but like I've done it so many times. That's the lines a stretch. Are so long and it's Tha like, yeah. Thailand and no, Jersey, the Hershey Shore. Do we have a date we'd want to do this? Um. Who? February. I don't know. It's really in the works. It's not like any nothing set in stone, but. I want to do that. Why are you swinging rigs all of a sudden? Let me see this thing. You swung why your this vapes? Is, this is actually more, made by um Why are your vapes getting so much more intense? Because that's what they sell. Can now. you do any tricks? Yeah. You do a smoke trick? I'll show you under the covers. <laughs> <laughs> Can I take a, a drag? A is, that how, is that how it works? I think it's a rip. Is it a pull? A pull. I don't want to lip I'm allergic to his lip plumper. So I oh my god, <laughs> thank you to Matt Cosmetics for sending me all I'm those afraid. lip plumpers. I'm afraid this is gonna make me choke. Oof. Is this why? Oh, oh, that tastes good. It's grape. grape. Oh my god! This anytime, tastes like anytime a you're buying candy. vapes, if you, I've tried all the flavors. The the most pleasant flavor for me, anyway, is is a grape flavor. I'm not promoting. I'm not promoting um, inhalants. Do you do vaping, Diego? No, no vape. We smoked a real real dart at my house. Yeah, I was dart. very disappointed. Why? Very disappointing to see young Diego smoking. Better a cigarette. than ripping that. I yeah. don't know. I don't know, Diego. At least this tastes like candy. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm addicted now. Did your mother yell at you for smoking? No, I don't think she saw. I don't but, know if she was watching. But Bianca was. My sister was, yeah. Bianca was watching. I he so, was watching. I got so zipped up on gummies last night. You had my gummies, don't you, you motherfucker? No, I have my own gummies. I've, the little purple ones in the pack? I didn't see any of those, no. I have my. I have bags and bags have of gummies. You a pound of gummies. I you pounds do? You of really? gummies, yeah. yes. Nana makes them herself. Makes them herself. <laughs> no, these companies, I, I get, every week I get a new box of gummies from these, all these different companies. Send me some gummies. I'm trying to read out. I've had like, I made it to the 15th for sober January, and then I had a couple cocktails this weekend, and now I need to get back on the horse. So you know what? I'm so anti. I'm, I'm so anti. Whole, I'm so anti um, like they tried it last night. I had a bunch of people. They were doing dry January. I am so against dry January, and like I'm literally, I'm, kind of, I'm starting to cut people out of my life because if you have, if, you're, if you have to limit yourself like that, to like, um, you have like no self control. Like I didn't do dry January, but like I, I literally only drank like three times in January. You can't. You can, why can't you support someone who wants to be sober? Because it's not. It's, it's not then just be so. It'd be sober then. What's what the fuck? What's, what's one month going to do besides ask for attention? That's being, like being a fucking vegan or a CrossFit person announcing it's ever. I'm doing dry January. That's just for, for fucking so no, people it's for the, attention. It's to start the year off with a clear head. It's not. So what's so they're going to be belligerent and go back to smoking meth and fucking prostitutes all the rest no, of your life? No, no. It's to start the year with a clear head. You want to kick it off. You and what's, get what's in, that going to change then? You, you want to get you, in the mood. Food. You want to? Is, is that going to make you have a better year? That yeah, you did that? yeah. No, it's not. It's a fucking. It's fucking an attention-starved fucking bullshit scam, and I don't fall for it. And I, I like. Th you're not. I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about literally like every, anyone who does it. Francis fell off the train too. Our sweet. Because it's like because it's all it's fake. It's fucking bullshit. It's like if, if you're going to be clean, clean and do that, go do something some good and don't. You don't have to fucking announce good. everyone. What would be the good that we could go do? donate? Go go build a fucking, go donate plasma. Go donate plasma. Go get a you know build a house in a. Are we allowed to donate blood? For children. We are now. Are we? It, it was announced. When? Can you find out if gays are allowed to donate blood yet? We weren't allowed to up until like a year ago. I think it's. I think just, it just fixed it. Trump. I think the first, first gay person donated. 
I used to donate blood and I used to just go hee hee hee. Thanks to a federal gay man in Monogamous. In Monogamous. Mono oh, yes, 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 Oh, this just happened lot? in May. Yeah, we're not like allowed. If, if people aren't allowed to just This is like what? up until a year ago, yeah. Really? No, you still can't. I mean, now you can, but if you, have to be in a, you have to prove that you're in a, in a, um, in a, in a, no way. In a monogamous relationship. <laughs> yeah, you're dying on the fucking table. You're going to worry about if, I'm, if me and my boyfriend are fucking uh, yeah. monogamous or not. Fooling around. Thanks to new federal off. guidelines finalized in May, gay and bisexual men in monogamous relationships can now donate at many blood centers around the country but without crack heads with needles can. from sex. Wait, what? But yeah. straight crackheads that have that are addicted to dirty needles can, but can like, donate couldn't blood. Couldn't they just... Just like what are, I would just be like, no, yeah, no, but no, like, I'm what sorry. are they? What are they concerned about? Like AIDS. What, HIV. But couldn't they just test for that? Like HIV, and they do test everything do for test. HIV, no matter what. But, but they HIV, still don't like right? It. Yeah. HIV so can like, lurk in your bloodstream for two weeks without, without knowing that you have. Like when you first, when you first get the load. Oh, is that the what, viral load? Is that why? Well, because yeah, because it could take two weeks to show up, and you don't know when the, when the gay guy took the last load. <laughs> That's crazy. There's like a little window, but yeah, they would te they test everything, no matter what, for HIV. But they would still be like, no. And that's why we need <laughs> Donald J. Trump. <laughs> I come mean, out so now, Ms. DeSantis, she, she had to sashay away with her high heels on. Yes. Poor thing. Isn't that tough? You have to endorse someone who said uh, you need a personality transplant. <laughs> 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 and now he's going to come out and endorse him. The worst was, uh, what's his face, Ted Cruz. Like he endorsed, Lion Ted? but he endorsed Trump after Trump was like, "Your wife's a pig" or something. something yeah. Oh yeah, like he made that. fun of his wife, and Trump goes, well, "I mean, take a look at your wife. Very sad. <laughs> yeah, very sad to see you still endorsed though. <laughs> That's way. I'm crazier. excited for like you know to get like some action back on the on the news. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I just find it. I, just find, I don't know anything about politics. I don't study it, and I don't pay attention. Nor you know. I thought you were a politician by trade. No, I, it doesn't matter. It's like the never, politics never matters to me. I just find it entertaining how like what <laughs> you an were uproar, trade for politicians. How like dramatic when you. See, it's almost like when you see like people like. It's like watching um, a sketch comedy in a way because you see like the news. You think the news is supposed to be the most serious thing, but then you see like adult, like grown adults like like in powerful positions acting a fool and like, wilding out on TV. It's like it's almost like. It's like it's like the biggest form of it's like a bravo for me. I think it's funny to, that anyone who dies on a hill, I love people who are like really passionate about things, even if they're right like or dry they're January. wrong. Like dry January, like dry January. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone who's really like over the top, like steadfast in their beliefs, I love. It doesn't matter how wrong your beliefs are. Should we become Stanley Cup queens? What is that? Should we become like like those those girls that wear Lulu? Uh, sorry, Lula Row leggings. Those Stanley Cups. A Stanley Cup uh, is the hockey. hockey. No, 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 no. The, no, no. the mugs that all the all the people yeah, are drinking yeah. out of. Oh, I don't even know. Well, there's these mugs and all these like there's people. I'm lightheaded are, from that vape. I'll tell you. People are killing each other in the streets for these these cups. Like a mug. It's like a it's like a thermos. And all the all the women and all like the, the, it's like oh all the, this these is not things. the Stanley Cup that I thought about. No, these. They're, everyone's going crazy for that. I don't understand why they're like a hundred dollars for the shitty little mug. No, but there's a special edition one at Target, and people there's like four hundred and twenty five dollars. Yeah, no, because they're like what? they're like they're the new Beanie Baby. These cups and Why? these women, these women, and I know they're drinking fucking Mountain Dew out of those things. Those those fucking fat slobs aren't fucking drinking water all day. They get an outside my, Target for a cup. My, my girl, yeah. my girlfriend take will take it to work, and she drinks like she'll drink like the charged lemonade like from Panera that was like killing people yeah. at work with like those things. Why I don't understand what's the big deal about this? Exactly, there's nothing big deal about it. It's, it's just like a phenomenon. So like these these people are like Google Stanley Cup Target sleep. They're, they were, their parents are having sleeping with their children in the freezing cold in the middle of Chicago. That's good parenting. For outside you. sleeping on the on the ground outside of Target to get this to, this cup. There's a special edition one. They did that with the Man Mafia mug, <laughs> which we sold exclusively in Bangkok, actually. Which is no, where... we sold it on dr dr rela drakerelated.com. This is a real beat. Look at this. No. <laughs> Looks like a Look. Black Friday shopping about a so weird. They're like pink Starbucks ones, I think. Valentine's well, they did this because Starbucks. Oh, let me see here. These Target exclusive tumblers come in Cosmo Pink and Target Red. It is part of the store's Galentine's collection. <laughs> they cost about forty five dollars, and they're sold out. Online. They did this because Tar because Costco. I mean, um, Starbucks has lost all their money because they took us po the political side with the uh, Israel Palestine thing. I don't know what they did, but they announced something so that they this is a crisis, and that's why they paid Kim Kardashian five uh, so something like five hundred million dollars to to walk out of Starbucks with a cup the other day. 
because they're losing all the money because they, they they show their their, their colors about Good about the, the controversy somewhere. So now they lost they lost thirty two billion dollars or something in stocks in one month in one in one month because of their stance. So they're trying to get it back. Who? So they, Starbucks lost all this money because they announced that they were Israel or Palestine, one of them, and they lost all the all, they lost thirty two billion dollars in and and st- uh, stocks. So they're doing these things like, crazy things like this to get money back. They have Kim Kardashian paid Kim Kardashian, Kim Kardashian five hundred million dollars or something like that to go I'd walk like to out check of the cup. The, I'd like to check the numbers on that one. But they hundred billion dollars. A hundred hundred billion dollars. Anyway, that's what they're doing. That's why Starbucks is doing these fucking scams to get America back. They're, so let me just break, so let me try and let me try and understand smoke this. and mirrors. Let me try and understand this. So Starbucks took a unfavorable. They went to Turkey. St- they went to Turkey. They got they got the hair thing. Yes. They took an unfavorable uh, opinion in what's going on in Al and Palestine. That's a and great Israel. word. Are you a journalist? And then I'm using my browser. Well, I'm doing, just trying to decipher what the fuck we were just talking about. And then because of this, people are buying cups at Target. Well, yeah, because Costco had. To, I mean, ta- Target had to do something dramatic to get everyone to shop there again. Finny, I don't get it. Look, look, what are you at, look at how much their re- their revenues gone up. Like from 2019 to now, just because they invented that cup. Who invented the cup? Stan. Stan. Like they just like made in this new tumbler, and that's how much their revenue has grown. But in the last why year. does this? Starbucks. What does this have anything to do with Starbucks? Because Starbucks made a special collab with them. Yeah. It's like this, like this, like oh. the the biggest. The Stanley cups are popular all across the board anyway. Then tar- Starbucks made this limited edition one. You can only get at Target in a special color, hot pink color. That it's a special for Starbucks. So 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 all the money's going to Starbucks and Stanley. So Stanley got into bed with Starbucks. So to get back at Starbucks, get back in good graces with all. The people mad about the the war. Okay, I kind of get it. So they they're basically paying. They're 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 buying. They're 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 putting wool over everyone's eyes, and letting these like young girls in some and and, and uh, you know in disguise of this cute young little innocent thing. But it's really like a, there it's really like money, it's right a money into grab the, right into the guns of war. Well, we're in a, we're in a we're in a uh, war industrial complex, dear. You see, Sports Illustrated uh, close the doors. Go wool, go broke. <laughs> <laughs> they had that transgender woman on the on the cover the other day. Who? And now Phil Mulvaney. <laughs> no, they had um Anita Max Win. What was her name? Anita Max Win. Who was the girl? Who's the trans singer? The blonde singer. Oh my god, Sports trans Illustrated. Trans blonde singer. Who is what's her name? Look at Kate Upton, yeah. Sports Illustrated swimsuit edition. Ma- uh, what's her name? Look at her. What's the trans number. girl's name? Petrus, Kim Petrus was on there. I didn't realize she was trans for quite a while. Petrus? Yeah. Oh, yeah. She's yeah. an OG. I, I don't even know that she's is. a famous singer. I didn't she's know until singer. she did the Sam Smith she's, performance. She's a girl, girly pop, chaotic girly pop. Yeah, yeah. she's like, uh, uh, what's her She's cute. What's her name? We should do one of those for our, our social. Imagine how you get an email. Hey, we're just closing the doors. Yeah. Maybe that's what our meeting is about today with Uncle D. <laughs> He's like, I looked at the books. Sorry, it's over. Life doesn't happen bi-weekly, so why should payday? The money you earn can be in your hands today with Earnin. Earnin is an app that gives you access to pay your pay as you work, up to $100 per day or up to $750 per pay period. Just download the Earnin app and verify a pay- your sorry. Just download the Earnin app and verify your paycheck. Access to up to $100 a day as you work and leave an optional tip. All money you access plus tips are automatically repaid from your next paycheck. This is great because if you're, you know, if you're the holidays just happen. You know, a lot of people are short on cash. They right. just want a little bit of an advance. You want a little extra money in your pocket. That's where Earnin comes in. Make Earnin a part of your financial routine and join Earnin's over three and a half million customers who th- say things like, when I think about Earnin, I think about financial stability, security. It gives me a lot of peace of mind. That's right. So download the Earn. So, so, so download Earnin today, spelled E-A-R-N-I-N, in the Google Play or Apple App Store. You download the Earnin app, type in Out and About Under Podcasts when you sign up, and it really helps the show, Out and About Under Podcasts. Subject to your available earnings, location, daily max, and pay period max, see earnin.com slash TOS for details. Earnin is a financial technology company, not a bank. Bank products are issued by Evolve Bank and Trust, member FDIC. One more time, guys, download Earnin today, spelled E-A-R-N-I-N in the Google Play or Apple App Store. I remember my parents got my brother a Sports Illustrated swimsuit edition once. I, I did make it for the Sports Illustrated And I was like, that's kind of weird. What year? Me? Yeah. 87. No, it was in um, 2004 who, or five, maybe. Who was on the cover that model, year? Do you remember? There was a bunch of models. We did oh, a, you did it like on the beach in New Jersey. Yeah. You put it, you put body, body makeup on their whole body. If they need it. And did you just read, you read the, you read the ones to filth who do? Oh, no, you got sunspots here. Oh, no, you got this here. 
No, it was like, you know, it's pretty natural. Do you right? remember who's on the cover the year you did it? No. Look at this. I don't have the, I have the picture. I have the magazine at home, I think. But anyway. It's crazy to see like how what's been considered a desirable body has changed over the years. Like it used to be like flat asses, no hips. And now yeah, it's like all early just Yeah, like early 2000s look is not, not the way. I it love is. it. Look at that. Oh my God. Paradise found. Should, we should make these for our social, but just put our faces over them. Yeah, I can do that. That's, I mean, that's obviously, that's probably, that's probably me in a one piece. I I'd like assume. to be in a mixed race body, please. That's you, Joey. Keep going down. Oh my Lord. No, that's Nana. That's Nana. A head full, a head full of hair. I would do that to hide a my head tummy full of hair with to a, hide my, my t with a, with a, with a broad shoulder. Oh my God. That's crazy. It's just over like that. It's crazy people can just close the doors to their company. Tyra Banks. Like, oh, the happened? polka dot. They just like from yeah, just I don't, not making money. Like I, I don't. I don't really know. I don't really well, know. Well, can I say something? Everyone magazines. says. Everyone's saying go woke up broke all this shit. Print has been out of commission for many moons now. Everyone's going digital. There's no reason for it. That's why the Playboy Playboy closed their doors and just went online. Anyway, they're still keeping an online presence, aren't they? Or no? I don't think so. And even and, it, and even digital struggling. Like I don't know if you guys know what this is, but Pitchfork is a very big yeah, yeah. like they no longer going to exist. They're getting pushed under GQ. Like GQ, whatever company owns GQ owns them, and like they're Conde just getting Nats. rid of Pitchfork. Yeah, and they're just going to go under GQ. Like I think all like written media is not doing well. You know, if, early, you could, if you could stick your dick somewhere on Tyra Banks' body right there, would you titty fuck her first or put it right in her puss? Titties, for sure. You gotta. It titties? Before Diego, same question? Titties. She's got great titties. You gotta. Really? She does. I would touch those. For the experience, you have to. You would touch them? <laughs> <laughs> Mama! I would touch her heart. <laughs> I'd bless her heart. I don't know. You know, we used to do that. That was early days of Barstool Magazine. We used to have hotties on the cover. That's what we would hand them out. We'd have they would bring Barcelona local smoke shows in Boston into a studio, take photos of them, and then we'd hand it out as a gambling mag. Look at the uh, look at the fucking bang. It's the end of an era. Okay. Is that the one he did? No. No. S I be Beach Party. This is two thousand six. I don't know who Maria Sharapova is. Uh tennis player. Beyonce was on the cover in 07. Looks yeah. good. The dream girl as you've never seen her. It's just her just butt ass naked. Look at those fucking boobs. Kate Upton, I'm going to go out on a limb here and say Kate Upton has the best breasts in America. She has to hold them up with her elbows. Exactly. Them heavy fucking hooters. Those are, <laughs> does she have hooters? Or, I feel like she has jugs. Sweater, I feel like she has sweater puppies. No, they're jugs. Jugs. Puppies is something cute and like petite. Those are fucking heavy cannons. She might have melons even. Melons, yeah. She has for <laughs> sure. She for sure has melons. Bama bombshell. Wait. What's it on? Sweater puppies and melons. So. Bama, ba Bama Bombshell Catherine Webb. Do you remember her? No. She we don't was, need to Google her. No, you do. She was someone's girlfriend. We're the only ladies who can be on this show. Would you rather have melons or jugs? Melons. Jugs sound heavy. Would you rather? Yeah, would you rather have? Would you rather have? <laughs> would you rather have sweater puppies or? Real puppies? Flapjacks. Ew, sweater puppies. Flapjack sounds flat as like. Tit, would you rather have tits or boobs? Tits. You would want. I think like boobs. Would you tits. rather have boobies or boobs? Boobies. That sounds petite. Playful, like boob. <laughs> would you rather have mosquito bites? I had those for many years. <laughs> or did you wear a training bra? No, I used to tape my nipples down with scotch tape and wear it and wear girdles. <laughs> <laughs> I would rather think. I think if I have to pick any of them, I think I got to go with melons. You just have a big old pair of melons on you? It's fun to say. Yeah. I don't know. Melons. Bowling balls. Bowling. Ba you have basketballs on your <laughs> chest? Oh, like the cock destroyers had basketballs. Hmm. That's it. That's all the one. Well, that's the end of an era. Sports Illustrated. Are you excited for Dave to be in this week? No. <laughs> See you here today. Tell Dave's him to get out. Week. Tell him to get on the pod. No, but I don't know why it's like, I don't know why it's like, um, everyone, like everyone says, oh, just everyone prepare yourself. Dave's coming all week. Like it's like, it's like a scare tactic. Like why should, why should, why, why should people be like f terrified of Dave Portnoy? I think most people work? just his, don't his come office, in. He's, he works here. What is, why was, why would be such a scary thing if he sees you at work? We came in after he was scary. All the, the three of us. Yeah, I, I guess we yeah. did. Yeah. 
That's what we were talking about. Who were we talking about that with? I think it was on the stream, yeah. With on the words. stream. I was like, everyone's like terrified of Dave. I, 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 I respect him as a, as a businessman, 100%. As a lady. And you know, this is his home. This is Casa. This is what he built. Of course, I respect him for that. But like, as far as, I don't, I don't get the terrifying thing. Like, what's this, the worst thing that can happen is you lose your job, but it's like, which is a horrible a thing. big thing. <laughs> which is a horrible thing, but I'm saying. Pretty life changing thing. But it's like, people Whatever. are scared of him like worse thing. than that. Like, they're yeah, scared. Like it, like it's, beyond like, it's beyond like a job. It's like almost, they're, they're like it's, so terrified. It's like dad's coming home. And yeah, you wanna, but we're not. You're not. Well, you no want to. Well, here's wrong. the thing: when dad comes home, and dad and mom told you to clean. Mom told you to empty the dishwasher before dad gets home. Yeah. And the dishwasher hasn't been emptied, so dad's <sighs> gonna come in. You don't know what kind of hell dad's gonna raise because the dishwasher wasn't empty. But who's not emptying the dishwasher? I am. I'm emptying the dishwasher, so I, I don't feel like I'm scared of anything. I think some people don't empty the dishwasher. What mom who, who, says. Who is it? Well, say it's names. Diego. <laughs> <laughs> say names. I don't know if it's that. I think who people in just our section? Make, I just want to th- make sure. I think people want to make sure they're here to show face. People don't usually come in. Well, I, that matter. I think being here. Well, there's dates you don't need to come in. So there's things yeah. so if you're there, there's nothing to do that day. You have, you know. Well, the idea would be you would find something to do. Be open. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I found myself in the flower district on 27th, 27th, the 3rd. Well, I document it for content. <gasps> I have a text message from Paul Gaz. You're fired. Oh, no. Okay. Do you want to read it with the group? Oh, yes. I guess now is a good time to announce. Um, we, partner, Barstool Sports, has entered a partnership with Rumble, which is like a, uh, it's a video platform where you can watch all of our videos now. Everything that we're going to be posting on everywhere that we usually post will be posted on Rumble. So the only change for you guys is instead of us linking to other platforms in our social media, um, we'll now have a link tree. So you click, you go in and you can choose where you want to watch and where you want to listen. And one of those options will be rumble. So make sure you check us out on rumble. Now, I thought it was rumble fitness. I got excited. I, I did took, too. I thought I it was the a boxing. Box, I took a boxing class there once. I did. I go, oh I my God, we got a partnership with rumble. I saw the gloves. You do? Mm-hmm. <laughs> that, my that friend way. Noah, my friend Noah invented it. Uh, really? Good. I, I got to that, delete that because I posted the wrong thing, Gaz says. What'd you post? That's a good idea for a vlog. Oh, yeah, we can go Rumble, Going yeah. To bo- a boxing thing. Yeah. That would be fun. Boxing class would be fun. Rumble's fun. Yeah, I like that. I like that that class. Um, what else is new? Um, a lot. What do we have going on this week? Well, I ordered, I, ordered, I ordered some... I'm doing an art project at home. Okay. I'm doing it. And is getting back into decoupage. What is that? That is the act... Of just crushed my balls. Not not decoupage. It's um. Can you Google decoupage? Is it decoupage or is it? I take glue and newspaper and gauze. Yeah, do you paper mache? It's paper mache. I'm doing paper mache realness. New York building. <laughs> I'm taking. I'm taking my Aileen's tacky glue. I'm gonna dilute her with water. Nana's getting ready. Nana's building her first skull for Dia de los Muertos. She's getting ready for it. <laughs> Day of the Dead. <laughs> I'm building that. You go. You go. Paper mache. That's you. She wrote realness. She wrote realness. <laughs> well, that's you. Who did? Who did? I she did. did. I did on purpose. We'll see what. Uh-huh. But Nana has a sickle. This is not what this I was. Not, that's not what I'm doing. Would you rather do origami or paper mache? Yeah, Paper thing. mache origami seems very method- mathematical. What's a version of this? Yeah, the, the this is what you're making. <laughs> <laughs> I have no new things in my house. Yes. Right next to my chrome lamp. <laughs> yeah, I will make a tabby. <laughs> <laughs> so I have a short. I have a short hair tabby. Oh um, my god, I'm in cat TikTok. Like cat showing TikTok, all the queens oh, yeah, who yeah. show the cats. Maine Coon. Yeah. So you can take this now. You see the back is stretched out about 28 inches. Oh, it's the best. Um, I would do a paper mache project. Maybe we do clay, like, uh, what's sculpting? it called? Clay spinning. Maybe yeah. that could be out and about adventure. Oh, I've done that before. Um, would you like the gayest out and about adventures you can do? I would let you a nude um, painting class as drink and sip. Where you oh, sip I've done and you paint a nude model. A nude model? Yeah. Just blur as bits. Who's the model? You go to a class and there's a model provided. They'll let you film them? Oh, didn't they do that on... Uh, they did that on Housewives. Oh, the, no, they did that on Mob Wives. I was watching old Mob Wives. Yeah. Big Ange did that. Sip and Paint or Sip and Spill. Uh, what is it called? Sit and sit and, it's called Sit, sit and Spin. spin. <laughs> sit and Spin. <laughs> sit. It's called Sit and Spin, boys. Um, I'd like to go on an adventure. Um, 
I'd like to go to the Great Wall of China. There's several different restaurants I want to go visit. I'm going to show you different worlds. I want to go to um, this. You I'm just want to go out to eat? Well, that's an adventure. All right, let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> I really it's think content. we should do the medieval thing. Oh, medieval. Have you guys been to medieval times? Yeah. Look at medieval the times is the best. I think we record just, there. Wasn't someone just there? Yeah, you there? probably can't record there. You're right. We probably can't record there, though. Well, you can. I, I'm pretty sure you can. My, my, I've seen people record yeah, there. Yeah, it's not like one of the ones at KFC. Or KFC Dan no, no. I've been, to, I've been to the one you're talking about. Medieval the times. It's, you, like, in, it's in uh, Lindhurst, New Jersey. Yeah, you, you eat the chicken legs. You watch like the show. Yeah, yeah. that. Yeah, I would do that. It's fun. but Turkey legs. It's loud. We could do a sleepover at <laughs> we could do a sleepover at Poppy's after. No, it's right. It's right at the. It's right at the Metal Metal Line. Yeah, it's in Lindhurst. It's oh, right Lindhurst. It's like right here. Um, that I wanted to also go visit. Um, the the tomb of no in Queens. I want to go to the um factory. No, in Flushing Queens, I want to go to the um the, the Asian food markets, like the food courts. They have the most insane food courts with the most delicious food ever. I would love that all around the world. I would love that. Yeah, they have very go good. That Queens has the best the best ethnic food. It literally. In the I want to take it to Arthur incredible. Avenue. I've been to Arthur Avenue. I'm going to bring you to Arthur Avenue and we roll the delis, go and talk to all the yep. guys about Italian meats and cheeses and go and, and for a party and we'll have a gobble party at my house. Or Arthur Avenue, we'll go get real, real, talk to the real guys, slice thin, help we'll I help try and slice stay away things. from Italians like that. Though. You know what I know? I'm going to go do that. So we can go, I'll talk to one of the delis, like, all right, bring us behind the counter. Let's make our own mo mozzarella tonight. We'll make fresh mozzarella up there. We go to uh, Tellerico's. Say Tor less. Shows. Say Tor Yeah, less. so that's what I'm going to do. Arthur Avenue, write that. That's another out about adventure. So what? You're just not going to do any adventures that I want to do? These are my ideas. You can pick your own ideas. I do have my own. They're fine. So yeah, skiing. we're doing all of them. I'm not skiing though. All right. So we'll take skiing off. We got to substitute skiing. I don't do out heights, and I'm not. It's going to be a waste of time, and it's far. I, I want to do something. That, that would literally. That would be out of everything we've that's said. A trip, that would though. be the best video. What skiing? Yeah. Well, go yeah. skiing. That would. I'm not skiing. Would be the no, best. It's for our show never together. Done anything skiing before? Yeah, that would be the best. I don't like skiing. That's why it would be good. But I don't ski. That's why we good. Why would it be good? I don't ski. Exactly. Us teaching you on the bunny hill. Us like teaching, teaching you. If you can do it in Manhattan, you yeah. You? <laughs> you can do it. We go next time we get a couple inches, we go down the Third Avenue hill. <laughs> yeah. I'm work. not taking a trip like that. These are like local things we can do in a couple hours. Like what? These things. All the things I mentioned. Arthur they're Avenue. All local. Yeah, I guess they're pretty local. What's well, Pat? Peyton Sip Diego is naked. What? Who wrote that? Uh, not me. <laughs> Who wrote that? Vinny. Imagine we find out that Vinny and Diego are just in a relationship. <laughs> I wouldn't care. I have, I have bigger fish to fry. I'm, I'm, I'm throwing a party. For pops? Yeah. Oh, a cake. I have to get a cake. You have to eat, what did you have you eaten cake lately? Oh, I ordered my wall, peel and stick wallpaper. Okay. Oh, my God. So I've talked about it with a concrete wall, right? Yeah, yep. So I went to this place called Photo Wall, and I got literally the best wall. It's it? um, it's like you can pick all different ones. I went with something less than moldy. Everyone's saying it was on, I mean, to call it a debate on, on about... I'm sorry, I mean, call it a debate on it's happening about if this wall looked like the molds from um, The Last of Us or like, <laughs> or whatever it was. It did look like a moldy wall, but this one I didn't get green. I got the cementy color. Um, it's the new wave, and now, now I'm obsessed. I want, to, I want to cover everything. With the mold? No, with like, with a textured wallpaper. Are you afraid that you're doing so much here that no. it's like, what are you going to do when you move? What do you mean? I just, the same thing I did with my other apartment when I moved. You just take it all. No, I don't take everything. You know, you, you have to leave certain things. No, you take everything, put it back to the way it was, your apartment the way it was before you left, before you got there. You bring it back to your original condition. Got you just it. have the guys come in and do it. See, I wish I had like a fifth of the ambition with my apartment that you have because I'm jealous. Well, you you're, don't entertain. Like you're, I do. you're able to just like be like, I want this, I want this, I want this. You don't even think about it. You just do no, it. No, I do I, think about it like crazy. No, I know. But like you put thought into it in the sense that like you really care. Like I can't bring myself to be like, this is what I need. My well, that's my this thing. Your I thing. Need. You have other things in your life. My whole thing is how yeah. is homemaker. Is homemaker. Right. That's my whole vibe. My thing. You do sports. You do, you know, you're into all different things. Um, you're, now you're a homemaker. I'm a homemaker first and foremost. That's what we still need to do is go uptown to um, Nana storage unit. Oh, I have to go this week. We have spring. Spring is a, can we? Me and Diego actually come. If you want to record me, I, can, I have to go this week. Where is it? It's way uptown. It's um, north of a hundredth. Yes, north of a hundredth. North of one twentieth. No. North of one fiftieth. No. South of one fiftieth. Yeah, south of one fiftieth. South. You of, got it. What are you doing? It's not that far. It's mind. not that hard. But it's like literally at. It's it's close. All right. So I'm gonna go there. I have to um because I have my Christmas tree. I have to put it still away there, and I have to bring on my um all my Christmas decorations or my rubbermaid tin. I have to get out of the house because um, you know, I have to stage. You absolutely have to stage. I have to stage. I, massage. I saw a video recently of uh, two people who live in their storage unit. I've seen those. Yeah. Gross. You wouldn't do that. 
Why well, would I do that? It's like four hundred dollars a month. It's way you cheaper. You're not allowed to live there. Well, yeah, exactly. But people do. It's crazy. Yeah. Live there? Yeah. It's oh, like yeah. two people living. They there. They clock you when you go in and out. They do. They do clock you. So they were pulling that, it off. They go in after hours, maybe. I saw someone build like a salon in there once. <sighs> we have two interviews tomorrow. Tomorrow? Or we have one tomorrow and one today. <gasps> we have an interview today. What time? With what? At two thirty. Oh yeah, shit. For who? I didn't realize. Eric D'Alessandro. Oh, I love him. He came to my house. He's the best. And tomorrow we have our good friend Jim Norton. And we're going to put those out over the next couple of weeks. That'll be good. So then we're not recording Wednesday. We are recording Wednesday. Why? Well, if we're going to be here tomorrow, why don't we do everything tomorrow? Um, I too. Yeah, I'd rather yeah, do that. Yeah, we could do that. We could definitely I have do a busy that. week. I'd like to get everything done as in one day if we can. All right. Well, this has been lovely. Thank you, everyone, for listening. Wait, I have to go to the bathroom. <laughs> This has been lovely. Thank you, everyone, for listening. And we will see you on Friday. Goodbye. Love ya. Love ya.